Hey everyone, Kamina the Coach here. Eek. <laughs> I don't really have new information. Well, maybe a little bit, but not really. So just a quick update on what's going on with me going to Tanzania, if I'm going or not, I don't know. And just another, I, you know, there's only so many times you can beat a dead horse over the head. One more time to discuss the benefits of keeping tools in your toolbox. So, um, I haven't been doing videos like I should because usually when I look the best, it's like first thing in the morning. And when I have my best ideas, it's first thing in the morning. And really, I just like that time to myself. I get up extra early. I, I set everything out the night before. I get up extra early so I can watch the sun come up. So I have time just to be still and quiet with myself. And I just don't want to think about doing videos during that time. It's my time. It's my time to center and focus. So really, that's the reason I haven't been doing videos. And it's not any anymore <laughs> because I've been feeling crappy. Because since I've been back in the United States, I had been feeling pretty crappy. And the upside to that is really that I got to test. I get to put the what the pedal to the metal the rubber to the road on all these wonderful techniques that I've been learning that I talk about that I keep in my toolbox so I've got to try all this stuff out and wow it's pretty amazing to actually see it work so you do all this work you do all this work and you know you want to see the fruits of your labor and it's not really until you're tested and tried. It is unfortunate that that's, that's what it takes for you to see. I mean, how do you know your seatbelt works if you've not been in an accident? How do you know your airbag works? So I am very thankful for my toolbox of, of techniques to calm and self-soothe and to remind myself because I've gone through a lot since I've been back. I have cut th cut loose three people that were like family. Um, it was very emotional. I have been very, very lonely. I have gone through some job struggles. Um, I hate where I live. We're just not even going to talk about that anymore. <laughs> But, um, yeah. Oh, and I've bought, I've only been here since March. So what day is it? December 21st, 2020. And I've only been back in the country since March. And I've bought three cars as well. And I've had an accident. I'm not a driver. So, <laughs> yeah. So I've gone a lot. I've gone through a lot since I've been back. That's probably why I kind of left at the idea to go to Tanzania and um we'll see we'll see so um anyway so that was the first part i'm really thankful for the tools in my toolbox oh and perimenopause how how can we leave out perimenopause so all these wonderful stressful things going on in my life and i'm so thankful to have a set of tools that ensures that I can keep moving forward, that I don't want to just go crawl in my bed and just stay there. I've um, started walking at, at work during my break times, and I religiously get my Pilates workout every day. I feel so much better. I'm just thankful. I'm really thankful to be whole. So emotionally, mentally, physically, I'm really thankful to be whole because I can only imagine what people who are not whole emotionally are going through during all this, considering that I am going through this, although I am very sensitive. Um, so Tanzania. So uh, now, OK, so what happened? I was trying to get them to. So authentication is not what they did. They wanted me to submit my degree to their Ministry of Education and and my transcripts to um, make sure it's equivalent or something. So we were going to do that with my master's in education. 
And they're like, no, we have to do that. So that was the, my last update on this. So I had submitted a ton of paperwork <laughs> for my, um, that my master's degree. They also like wanted to see like my high school and blah, 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 blah. So they sent me, um, that back and they were like, pay another blah, blah, blah. And you must get your undergraduate done as well. So, <laughs> and so I told the woman who's, uh, position I'm supposed to be taking. She's like, yeah, they always want more money. So I did that. And, um, so now the, um, second in command, uh, I'm in direct contact with her. She's gone and gotten my paperwork and she has officially applied for my Tanzanian teacher's license. And that's the last step. So I'm supposed to go in February. We are, um, almost officially one month out. Um, I talked to another woman who lives in Ethiopia, who is a lawyer slash professor, and she's been asking me for years to come to East Africa, <laughs> and I have always declined. Africa is a lot more expensive than people know and think. Um, schools don't really pay very well and um, don't give great packages. Uh, Africa doesn't gr have a very strong... I'm, I'm speaking as a continent and I forgive me, there are many countries in that continent, but I'm just speaking in general. Um, the infrastructure is not great. So that means um, in a lot of places, the medical is not great either. And I won't have medical where I'm going and have to get my own place and have to get my ticket there. And um, the current... Um, political situation something that I'm looking at as well so um and here we circle around to something else very interesting that I kind of look at is my intentions were to come back to the United States to live and what exactly am I running from if I leave so am I really running from the political like the political because it's it's to me, there's an extreme unrest in the, in the United States right now. So is that really what I'm going away from? Or am I really going away from establishing strong bonds? Because I'm not good at that. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. So, yeah, I have applied for a job where I've been doing temp work. And we'll see if that pans out. Um, living and working overseas was good for me. It gave me time to look at myself and to heal and spend time alone with myself. I think that the reason that I've been doing all of this work is to heal so that I can have healthy relationships. And the truth is, is that it's very difficult to have and maintain healthy relationships. And I'm not just talking about, um, sexual relationships. I'm just talking about friendships, deep, meaningful connections. It's hard to make and keep those living abroad. So I've done the work. I put in the work. And it, so I think partially what I'm running from is the cluster muck up that is the United States. And part of what I'm running from is the fear of establishing something because I have really essentially nothing no real system no real infrastructure of, of relationships here um so that's an interesting question uh i i did a, a video when i first started doing videos a reason not to come overseas and a, a good reason not to come overseas is when you're running from something so am I really running from the political system and the state of unrest that the United States is in? And probably yes, but uh, I think that another part of something that I may be running from is building and keep maintaining relationships, especially as an introvert, because it's just easy to just stay in my she cave and, and not come out. It doesn't bother me to be inside every single weekend. So <laughs> I know that I cannot continue to do this. And I know that I want and need connections. So I'm going to have to make a bit more effort. 
and um, I think that that's only going to happen, really, really going to happen if I stay in the country. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it for December 21st, 2020. It may change the next time we speak, who knows. So forgive my, so it's like 726 and fresh out of the shower after Pilates and all that stuff. So sorry, I look a little rough, but I really, really wanted to um, let everybody know what, what's going on with Tanzania and um, to encourage you to build your toolbox. Keep adding, keep studying, even when it seems pointless, because if you don't need your toolbox, you're doing great. But trust me, if you get to a point where you need it, it's really great to have it when you need it and not to need it and not have it. <laughs> so anyways, wishing you love, light, peace, and joy. Kamina the coach until next time. Peace.